morning just to share a testimony to tell you guys how awesome our God is. So um, last week I was having a really, really bad spiritual attack, really bad. And um, Satan was trying to make me doubt God. So it was like things popping in my mind, um, just trying to make me doubt God, that there is a God. Um, and so normally when I'm having these really bad spiritual attacks, what I normally do is go to the Word. I go to the Word like Jesus did when he was being um, tempted by Satan. He kept telling Satan it was written. So I go to the Word because that is the written Word of God. So um, my Bible is normally next to my bed. So this particular day, um, as I'm being tempted, I open up the Bible and it leads me to John 21. And that's the story when Jesus came back for the third time after his resurrection um, that the disciples, well, not all of them, but someone was in the boat with Peter fishing. And Jesus was on shore and he told them to take the net, throw it to the right. When they threw the net to the right, they caught 153 fish. Now, I've read that before, but for some reason, this particular time that 153 stood out. So the Holy Spirit directed me to look up the Hebrew meaning of 153. And so I was obedient. I pulled out my phone. I typed in Hebrew meaning of 153. And what pops up is so, oh my goodness, so awesome. So if you guys did not know, 153 in Hebrew actually means I am God. Imagine that. Satan is trying to make me believe that there is no God. And God comes as I open up his word and I'm listening to the Holy Spirit, I'm being obedient and, and doing a little research. Um, I find out that 153 means I am God. But that wasn't even just, that, that, was, that was awesome, but that's not the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake was underneath that, the English abbreviation meaning of 153 is I adore you. So while Satan is trying to tempt me um, by saying to me, oh, there is no God and put all these thoughts in my mind, um, thoughts and, you know, trying to deceive me. Um, <laughs> my God shows me in three numbers who he is, that he is God. And not only that, he then told me, I adore you. So at one of my weakest moments, one of those moments that I'm going through this very, very, very bad spiritual attack, my God was there because he promised to never leave or forsake us. So I want to share that because maybe it'll help you guys when you're going through spiritual attacks. Number one, remember to go to your word. Number two is, remember 153, those three numbers mean that God is God, that he is God, that Jesus is God. And also that he adores you like he adores me because we are his children. I love you 